Welcome back, Fund Nation. I'm Elio Trades, and today we're going to be going through the long list of reasons why Stellar Lumen is one of our favorite projects. Even if you know everything about Stellar Lumen, we still think you should watch this segment as we even learned quite a bit making it, and we thought we knew it all. But the reality is that Stellar Lumen has so much going on, it would really take too long if we told you everything. So we've tried to distill some of the most important points about Stellar Lumen, its team, its history, its products, use cases, the decentralized exchange that's coming to the platform and the network, how easy it is to use, smart contracts and how they fit in with this whole equation, the token itself, the Stellar Lumens, and of course the ATMs that they'll be installing across this developing world, along with partnerships they've made with some of the biggest power brokers in both the technology and banking industries. We're going to look at the roadmap and then we're going to talk about a conclusion as to why we believe Stellar is one of the most interesting and most promising projects in the entire cryptocurrency space. I'm Elio Trades and get ready because we're about to do a deep dive on XLM Stellar Lumen. We're going to start by introducing you to the founder of the project, Jed McCaleb, along with his history throughout the cryptocurrency space, which has definitely been interesting and successful to say the least. Jed was the one who created Stellar, but before that, he did some pretty interesting stuff in the cryptocurrency world. Back in the day, Jed created the Mt. Gox Exchange. Now, you may know Mt. Gox from the stories about the biggest hack in cryptocurrency history, but you'll be delighted to know that Jed had left long before that happened. In fact, Jed McCaleb not only sold the exchange, but then advised the subsequent buyer of the exchange on security practices. Obviously, Jed has always been associated with the whole Mt. Gox fiasco, but in reality, we don't believe here on this channel that he had anything to do with the actual hacking, and it was actually pretty impressive the way he handled himself before, during, and after. After leaving Mt. Gox, Jed went on to join the Ripple XRP team. In fact, it was just the Ripple team at the time, because Jed joined the team to create create the XRP token. Ripple is actually a company that dates back to 2004 when it was trying to do interesting non-blockchain style payments, but finally hit its stride when Jed McCaleb came over and launched the XRP Ripple cryptocurrency. After a year at the company, Jed started clashing with a new addition to the executive board in Chris Larson. Chris Larson then pushed Jed McCaleb out of the company. When Jed McCaleb left Ripple, he actually controlled 9.5 billion XRP, which led to a lawsuit because the company was very much so scared that Jed might dump his XRP in spite. When he left XRP Ripple, Jed McCaleb started Stellar Lumen by forking the code, reimagining the project, and heading in a slightly different direction. Stellar Lumen was born in 2014. The use cases for Stellar Lumens are pretty extensive, but one of the main ones that they highlight is the same thing that you see Ripple talking about, which is cross-border remittances, or sending money from one fiat to another fiat to facilitate low-cost payments between different currencies. Another thing is micropayments. That's why Stellar Lumen tries to emphasize extremely low fees. They also talk about services for the unbanked, which is about providing services to people who can't reach traditional banking infrastructure or don't have any bank account at all. They also highlight the ability to have mobile banking branches as well as send mobile payments. The product boasts some pretty impressive statistics with two to five seconds settlement time, total regulatory compliance, international reach, cryptographically secure transactions, payments that move as fast as email, and extremely low processing fees where one penny covers roughly 600,000 transactions. That's cheap. Right off the bat, we can see that Stellar is not only fast, not only trying to scale and do both banking and micropayments, but they're also trying to be very much so regulatorily or regulatory compliant. Stellar Lumen has its own blockchain and its own native token to that blockchain, the Stellar Lumens or the Lumens XLM. One of Stellar's main attributes is a DEX or a decentralized exchange. Now, if you don't know what a decentralized exchange is, it's just like a centralized exchange like Binance or KuCoin or Coinbase, where you can go and trade your cryptos much like any other centralized exchange. However, there is no central authority. There's no central body. Essentially, we don't need anyone. I can just sell my coins to someone else who's looking to sell their coins. But this goes way beyond just coins. In fact, Stellar's decentralized exchange is looking to swap any type of property or any type of value. In theory, with Stellar's decentralized exchange, you could literally carry and store any type of value, whether it's stocks or bonds or even 
sheep and convert that into whatever type of value you want. And that is all done through their decentralized protocol. This is actually totally revolutionary. And though they're not the only person in this space, it seems like Stellar is really setting themselves up to be a leader in the space. And by leading in this space, you're essentially blazing a trail for friction-free transactions across currencies, across value stores. It pretty much opens the floodgates for any type of economic transition or transaction to happen between any store of value and any other store of value. I could literally trade lamps for Lamborghinis. It might take me a lot of lamps to get a Lamborghini, but the point is I could do it right there on the blockchain. To illustrate this just a little better, there's this example of someone with a bank account with a balance of 6,000 euros. As you can see, they can send money as easily as putting in someone's name and email address. It's just like an email handle. If I have 6,000 euros here, I can send just by using an email address, not a complex private or public key like that, not a complex Bitcoin address like you've been seeing. I can literally send via Stellar's network to simple name, star, domain name, and then I can literally send in whatever currency that they so desire. If they wanna take 200 CNY out of my euro, then I can literally debit it directly out of my euro without converting it, with without doing anything crazy. And as you can see, the result is I have now 5,973.36 euro. And you can see the transaction was completed. So it's very, very easy now with this decentralized exchange, which essentially swaps any store, any value with any other value, boom, totally atomically without the need for an escrow or a third party, a trustless friction-free transaction where I can now send someone from US dollars and have them receive it in whatever currency they want. And you can switch those placeholders to be whatever you want them to be. The reason why Stellar Lumen, the token, will come into play so often is that anytime someone wants to do this decentralized exchange, it essentially goes through the Stellar Lumen token. So if I want to go and acquire some other type of token, essentially what it would do is it would go into the Stellar Lumen equivalent, and then that would cash out the same equivalent in that other currency or that other value holder. Stellar Lumen becomes the sort of universal token that creates all these swaps. It can kind of transfer value from one side to the other side to the other side. It's just an easy way to transfer value and that's why it holds value. The other reason why Stellar Lumen has value is that it functions as an anti-spam mechanism. Because it costs money to use the network or to transact on the network, it stops would-be negative actors or malicious actors from flooding the network with spammy transactions that aren't actually meant to do anything but slow down the network. We should also mention that the XLM token is inflationary. It's going to grow at about 1% annually, and that's actually to prevent something called coin death, which people don't really realize will happen mathematically over time. People with coins lose them, forget them, lose their passwords, their private keys. People die with coins. The reality is, is that the money supply actually dwindles over time. So you need a little bit more coming into the system every now and then to keep the coin alive. There's actually going to be giveaways of the coin over time because Stellar actually has a mission of more inclusivity of different parts of the economy. So they're actually going to be giving away some of these tokens over time in conjunction or following with their mission statement on their website, which you can check out. And of course, anyone who's doing transactions on the network or any apps built on the network, any smart contracts built on the network that are causing transactions or creating transactions on the Stellar network will of course have to use the XLM token. This project also supports smart contracts and decentralized applications. We know this because there's been a successful ICO already on Stellar in the form of Mobius. This makes Stellar Lumen a direct competitor to the likes of NEO, Quantum, Ethereum, and Lisk, among many others. And we do believe that Stellar is going to be successful at attracting partners to build on their network over Ethereum and the others because they already have in KickChat and Mobius. We also believe that there's going to be some serious banking infrastructure set up on this platform and tons of dApps that are going to run in conjunction with the decentralized exchange and the sort of cross-border remittances that Stellar is wanting to perform. Stellar is also installing ATMs across the developing world and the non-developing world, but this is just another way that they're bridging the gap between any type of value that you have and any other type of value. One of the biggest barriers to entry in cryptocurrency is that to buy it, you can only really buy it in a few specific places and not everybody wants to go and sign up for Coinbase. So having a place where I can take cash 
and get cryptocurrency and join this cryptocurrency revolution and start trading and using the Stellar Network, the smart contracts. It's absolutely amazing. And for someone who might want to deploy a smart contract in the developing world where they don't have easy access to legal services or even job contracts might be amazing and a total revelation where you can take someone who is using some kind of fiat currency in the developing world, they can use an ATM, get get cryptocurrency, get Stellar Lumen, and join and start using these amazing tools like decentralized applications, banking services, and even smart contracts. I honestly can't say enough positive things about Stellar Lumen and their whole ATM mission. If you're wondering what amazing partnerships Stellar Lumen has up its sleeve, wonder no longer. They are sitting on some absolutely monumental partnerships, not only for infrastructure, but also for demoing all of their pilot programs. We can see here that Stripe is on board, one of the biggest payment processors that we know of. There's also Tempo for money transfers. IBM is running their infrastructure globally, so you'll always have IBM super nodes or master nodes or whatever, so you know that the Stellar network is going to be functioning at laser quick light speed because you're having this amazing industrial level IBM infrastructure that's behind it. They're running their microtransactions partnership pilot program with Deloitte. They have a great partnership with Hashcash Consultants, which has tons of banks on board, including Deutsche Bank. And they say they have over 30 banks signed up to use the Stellar Network. But the good news doesn't even end there. They're partnered with telecom giants in Africa, helping do mobile payments through cell phones, and they're also launching new ICOs all the time. So you can look for Stellar Lumen to announce and carry out and make successful some of the most powerful and game-changing partnerships in the cryptocurrency space, period, end of story. Their roadmap is action-packed with their Ferex decentralized exchange release stilted for some time in the middle of this year, maybe Q2 or Q3, and they just announced announced that they're going to be implementing Lightning Network, which is the sort of toast of the town of Bitcoin land. And now we hear that it's coming to Cryptoville, where Stellar Lumen lives. Yes, this is actually happening. Lightning Network is coming to Stellar Lumen, which means that it will benefit from not all of its, not only all of its speed, but also its security and privacy encryption that's now made possible. So while Stellar Lumen's public ledger is indeed public, they can now benefit from Lightning Network's privacy encryption among many other scaling attributes. This is massive. Of course, we have word from the team themselves that they don't even care to announce all of their flashy partnerships, though they seem to suggest they have many. And they more prefer to make the ones they have successful. As we know, if they make their partnerships with IBM, Fairex, Deloitte, Deutsche Bank, and all these big payment processors like Stripe successful, then they're already on the road to mass adoption. And they're already doing things really, really well. So we totally agree with their roadmap or their decision rather, not to just release partnership news for the sake of, but to really focus on making those partnerships successful. We'll hopefully see a Kick Messenger D app along with tons more ICOs and tons more partnerships. But even so, just Lightning Network and Fairex alone are set to drive so much value into this project, it is staggering. In conclusion, Stellar Lumen is one of the most exciting projects we've seen to date. Not only was it started by the creator of Ripple, forked from the initial Ripple code, and it seems to be doing everything Ripple's doing and a lot, lot more, and maybe even better. The thing is that they've now added smart contract capability, dApp development, they're doing decentralized exchange. It's almost like every different type of coin that we like is embodied in Stellar and that not only are they doing it, but they're doing it well. They've got some serious partnerships, national level partnerships of huge payment processors, internationally recognized brands. They have infrastructure all over the world thanks to IBM, and they really have an inclusive vision of how to start a currency system that works for everybody. The reason why Stellar Lumen is going to continue to grow is that they're solving problems, the biggest problems that exist. They didn't just think it was enough to make payments fast and almost free. They wanted to make them travel in a way that was logical. So they added the ability to send them with a plain text name at a plain text email. It's a very logical system that we've been using for email for quite a long time, and they are now bringing it over to the microprocessing and payment sending. Now we can see Stellar coming in and going head to head with all the platforms. And that's exciting because it seems like Stellar's technology is fast and it plans to scale to be lightning fast. And that is amazing that not only is it having its infrastructure, its scalability, but it has its full functioning products already out in the world 
gold and being tested. It's supported on Ledger Nano. It's going to have the full decentralized exchange world living within it. It kind of feels as though this project can't fail. Right now, Stellar Lumen is trading for just about 20 cents, and it was earlier this year up to about a dollar. And that is nothing compared to what we think this currency could eventually be worth, because we do see this as a better than Ripple, better than Ethereum, and potentially better than any other coin in the top 10. Obviously, we're big and strong and long on NEO, and we have a lot of other coins that we absolutely love and think have very unique places in the market. But now it seems like Stellar is starting to be a do-it-all and do-it-all better than everyone else type of coin. Whether Stellar is responsible for reshaping cross-border remittance payments, helping launch the new hot ICO, running an industrial level decentralized application, or birthing the decentralized exchange world of tomorrow. Stellar Lumen is essentially the entire blockchain revolution in one coin. And for that reason, we couldn't be more bullish or excited for the future development of this project and what it means for the cryptocurrency space as a whole. Thanks so much for watching our report on Stellar Lumens. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't be afraid to smash that like button. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think of Stellar Lumen. Are you holding any XLM? Do you believe in the future of this platform? How do you think it's going to affect Ripple or Ethereum or NEO? We're curious to know what you guys think. Of course, if you're an investor and enthusiast in the space, subscribing to our channel is not a bad idea as we do multiple cryptocurrency videos each and every day. We'd like to remind you that we're not financial advisors here. And if you're going to invest, please always do your own research. And this is not professional financial advice. This is just our opinion. I'm Elio Trades. It's been an absolute pleasure having you with us and we'll catch you very soon on the next episode of FUD TV.